All right, boys and girls, it has been one month since our last most fun have things Rage changed? DPS. And yes, have uh, have things changed? Yes, indeed they did, because we have been putting our hands on a lot more specs. And um, well, opinions have changed in terms of fun for both of I, us. And I mean, uh, about it. certain range specs have also received a couple of things uh, altered in their talents, in their buffs, in their profile. And that might not change too much. But when you do one or two keys higher and you feel like you're contributing a little bit more to your team's overall performance, it does feel good. And it is kind of part of the fun outside of, you know, the design, the rotation, the animations, right. the sound effects. And it's not all about keys, it's also raids as well. So this, sure. is, this is not exclusive for Mythic Plus or the raid, it's, it's both of them combined, okay? <laughs> now, let's get into it, man. Affliction Warlock. Affliction Warlock, man, listen. I know this is, a, again, it's a subjective tier list, so sure. we're gonna have to be 100% clear on that. We don't necessarily um, look at what other people are saying or feeling. Um, it's, it's not about the overall damage, and um, as Affliction, I, it kind of remains similar. Personally, I really love the style of spamming Seed of Corruption. I think as a dot spec that specializes in rotting people down, the best way that you can do AoE is with Seed. And if you do want to down that boss, and you want to feel like you're melting the life out of stuff, the way that you apply all of your Unstable Afflictions and with the Malediction, and even with the potential rework of Dark Lair, this looks to be super, super cool still. It's promising. Sh sure, sure. It doesn't do as much damage as other specs might do, and that kind of is b b a little bit of a bummer. But yeah. it's in terms of playstyle. Yeah, but the, yeah, that's the thing, right? If if you enjoy this type of playstyle, it can be a very potent spec, right? And sure. That, like the affliction can master correctly can deal really, really good damage. And we said this in in our our um, raid uh, tier list. Yeah. Uh, it was it was it was one of the best, if not the best, range DPS over there as well. So it can perform in specific scenarios. It's a matter of playstyle or not. We kind of love it, although we kind of fell more in love with other specs uh, while going through all of these months of Dragonflight. So we're gonna place it in B tier. It's not bad. It's not like amazing. It's still fun to play if okay. you enjoyed that type of playstyle. Fun. Boomkin, on the other hand, <laughs> uh, which has been a... Uh, um, tell me how much you love dish. Boomkin, man. This is why you're going to talk about it. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about it. Um, Boomkin is still really fun, especially after... I don't know if we've done the previous one before or after talent. I think it was before the talent change. Yeah, Boomkin before. is actually doing really well now that we've had a chance to actually play it. It has a bunch of builds. Sure, it's still kind of kind of slow in terms of like overall raid boss damage but thankfully there's only like one or two instances where single target boss cleave damage meltdown is really that important and you have fights like council which is really fun because it's aoe for days but outside of that outside of damage boomkin is still a really really good spec as a range caster it is a pain in shadowlands to be able to cast all of that that's nothing new everybody knows that there's a lot of stuff that stop you from casting Boomkin does feel a little bit better in that sense since you do have a lot of like instant spell cast that can use to get mobility up and if something really has to hit you, you can be a bear. And that's cool. Being a bear is really fun, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've recently worked on uh, the Boomkin guide and uh, did its rotation and that took me about three hours to, to make. <laughs> Uh, which further uh, enhance my uh, love for uh, the spec. Not to mention, Boomkins look great. I mean, who doesn't want to look like an abominable cow with a head of an owl and some flappy wings as well? All right, let's place this bad boy here. It's, it's going to be it's, an it's, it's, it is, sure. it is fun. It has good rotation. It has good talent designs. You have a lot of builds. It's a good pick. Yeah, all right, all right. Now... Uh, a little bit more class uh, here, I would say. Ar <laughs> arcane mages. <laughs> sure, make the argument. Arcane, arcane mages. Now, now listen, arcane mages, I, I know it's very divisive. Some people yeah. just love it to death because it's very intricate and a lot more complex to, to master or well. Or they love Khadgar. Uh, or, or they love Khadgar, sure, that's an argument. But I know a lot of people don't really like the fact that they have to put in this yeah. much work and be so, like... You can be punished if you're not playing correctly. That can kill a lot of fun elements for playing a spec. Now, personally, I kind of like the intricacies, although I don't feel it flows as smooth. And uh, once mastered, sure, it flows as smooth. But when we're looking at the whole other spectrum of the fire uh, and frost specs, then you can talk about maybe having a little bit more fun. For us, I mean, for me personally, um, I, I, can, I can get behind the fact that it's complicated and it's intricate. 
but I cannot really be like uh, having super fun when I'm punished I, uh, so hard. Not, not I, I kind right. of agree. Um, there are the uh, complicated specs in the game that are actually really fun and really, really less punishable to do, or at least have a little bit of I mean, a little bit more work. It's okay, but yeah, not to the extent that it just kills. Uh, off no, it's you, you're, you have to sit still a little bit too much for my taste, and we will get into other specs that are actually really complicated. And they don't suffer from this, so that's probably what's gonna pull back on uh, my arcane love this yeah, season. Yeah, uh, well, shall we place it in C tier? Oh, I uh, think that's fair. Fair, yeah. fair enough, fair yeah. enough. All right, all right. Now, uh, Beast Mastery, on the other hand, I think mm. one of its main fun arguments is the fact that you can have like a decent playstyle, uh, not that complicated, not the easiest, but still on the, I would say, easier to grab side of things. Uh, and it also has doing it well, just. Do it, has received, it has received um, a bump in its, let's say, death from uh, the past expansions. If you enjoy that type of stuff. And it's uh, it's not that bad. Obviously, it's a king in single target. Everybody knows that, especially if you have the bow from Razaget. That's really good. But it's actually really fun to play, especially in raids, where you get to, uh, to live the fantasy of Beast Mastery Hunter, of pulling your entire stable into the enemy. <laughs> I think... For all its faults, in terms of like the overall talent design and the bloat of the points, the fact that it created a build where you just summon a lot of pets and a lot of beasts is really, really, really fun. It's kind of the unholy DK of range when you, when you think about the pets. You would think that that's... Only uh, that's, by because the pets, because the, the rotation yeah. is nowhere. Listen, one of the funnest things you can do in this game is like uh, deal a lot of damage while basically not giving a fuck about any mechanics. What and this mechanics? is this is this is BM Hunter, and I I guess we can we can still re I'm gonna retain it. Yeah, in yeah no, it's A tier for sure. It's still a really yeah. fun spec, and you can have a great time. Oh, for sure, for sure. Now, uh, Demonology Warlock, on the other hand, uh, I wouldn't say this one is easy to master or to, like, pull off properly, but no. it does involve, like, the fantasy of it, so once you do, so it's not arcane mage levels of complexity but it is arcane mage level of having to cast a lot of stuff a lot of the time <laughs> so but this is where it differs because it's not it's a it's not as annoying it's we can think of any other characterization but i think annoying is probably the best it's not as annoying to to cast 24 7 as you would probably have to go through with arcane yeah yeah plus you still have like one of the coolest teams out there in the game you know playing with with demons and summoning demons and making make them do your bidding and that actually translating into uh, actual numbers and stuff it's really really cool um i don't know maybe maybe behind i DM. would i would put it rather uh, probably around beats here i think for me the most similar i don't know if you like it a little bit more it's no uh, i like no it's not, never gonna be a build i, I mean let's, you have pit lords it. it's yeah, pit lords let's, let's, pit, lords. pit lord is like the, the biggest argument you can have for demonology what about destruction, though? Um, destruction. Mm, although I mean, this is not a this is not a DPS tier list. It does it did receive like some buffs in terms of like the damage profiling. We do see it doing a little bit better, which is a plus because it you know if you're at the bottom of the meters all the time, that's not fun. Even no, if not. the rotation is fun, yeah. it still has kind of like a bland playstyle in the sense that it it took from the design of the Shadowlands, but they kind of like nerfed it slightly. It's not as fun in the fun parts of the playstyle of destruction with, you know, the instant procs and the a lot, the infinite uh, uh, rain of Zephyr was also the, the ridiculous damage output, which oh, made it yeah. really funny. But outside of that, it's kind of, it's kind of missing a little bit. That's I, that's my. I guess one of the funnest things that was always a part of like the the destruction fantasy was you know just pumping out those big chaos bolts or, or cleaving with them. I always found that super fun and rewarding, and it's just juicy to have. Um, sadly, yeah, you, you we They're have not to. Not as big as. Before, yeah, that's though. the thing, right? So if you, you mm. don't have that that big impact, um, I guess we can put it into C tier. It's not like D tier material, but definitely needs a lot more, at least for yeah, us to be like sure. fun and engaging. Okay, Fire Mage up next, and Fire Mage is a fun spec to play. Okay, objective uh, uh, take on here, but I feel like uh, moving from Shadowlands to Dragonflight, I love what they did with the spec. It flows so much smoother. You have access to to basically all the cool things Shadowlands brought you, but now oh, yeah. it feels a lot more complete. I know a lot of people complain about Fire Mage's damage, but I think this is the only negative I can talk about uh, Fire is the actual tuning of it. And it, that can, yeah, can 
yeah, sure, it will have an impact in your fund if you're like, you know, you're doing everything right and you're gonna, gonna, not going to see it translated into the, the DPS meters or whatever. But I've seen fire do great damage, especially in our guild, you know, great period, you know, topping meters in a lot of the fights. So it's still really good. And I've seen them also in, in the plus 20 runs when they do have uh, the access to combustion in places like Knockout Offensive or Algathar, you're going to see some some big ass damage very, very big and damage. this is the thing it's smooth it's fun it's it, it has a lot more tools to like get you going as opposed to what was happening in the past so you have something to say about it or no it's, it's, it? it's definitely the my favorite mage spec out of all of them it's really cool design i really feel like i i love it i love it a bit i also love ignite i think it's hilarious that the best damage source out there for fire is ignite and you can spread it with Fire Blast, once again, yes. Yes, yes, yes. S tier. S tier, baby, let's go. I'm not going to put it in front of your precious boomkin, <laughs> but yeah, it's Put, it's, it, it's put it behind so you can fry the chicken and make some yeah, chicken nuggets. make some camp stuff, then, baby. All right, let's talk about Frost Mage. Uh, Frost Mage <laughs> has actually uh, received the... Um, well, actually, I kind of see Frost Mage a little bit better than we did before. I th it you also received, it also received yes. a bunch of bunch of buffs. So yeah, Frost Mage good. has always had a fun, a fun rotation. It's, it's really cool, and... As as an all-time favorite of Frost, I always love Frost more than Fire and Past expansions because of what you could do with like you know freezing orb and blizzards and all that. And Blizzard is Blizzard. It's the I one of the most iconic spells in World of Warcraft. And seeing it and Blizzard is also a company. <laughs> what? Who? And it's seeing it in the battle is also really fun. And the fact that you can actually do a lot of damage is really cool. Plus, I've seen some nutty stuff with Frost. Where you can just have like 100% up. I cannot have 100% up them on oh, ice nice base. Yeah. <laughs> but the fact that you can do that, I think that's a really cool concept. Whether or not you like spamming um, ice lances or not, I think Frost is good. For me, it rose up a little bit in in the fun meters. I don't know how you feel about it. Yeah, I'm gonna place it at eight tier, man. It's because yeah. because uh, I also lo loved it, and I kind of like what what you said was basically what I was gonna say. So keeping it into eight tier, very fun spec indeed. If you play Fire Mage. Giving a great time. Marksmanship Hunter. Marksmanship Ooh, Hunter. Uh, <laughs> Marksmanship Hunter is actually not a bad spec. Um, previously, I think we had it in eight tier. Yeah, been double tap. I'm, I'm thinking oh, we tap. lost double time. I'm thinking if it still deserves the eight tier. So marksmanship is still really fun. As a hunter, I'm always looking uh, where my pet is when I play marksmanship. But then I remember, oh, I'm marksmanship. That's fine. I know a lot of people don't like the pet and they they love it. I love the pet. But besides the points, marksmanship is actually. The only thing that's keeping it from uh, from being like super fun for me is the build diversity. And since uh, most of the time I usually play Mythic Plus, that actually matters since in Mythic Plus you probably have like one build and that's it. Yeah. It's nice what they did with the design. I like Salvo. I think it's really cool. The fact that you have light ammo and heavy ammo and you can sometimes swap in between them, that keeps a little bit of versatility alive. But what I really enjoy with Marksman is the, the way that you can do so much burst with volley and trick shot. And it's satisfying to give those aim shots. However, I feel like it's slightly, slightly below. If it had like one or two more build diversity, it probably would be a little bit better. But it's either B or A tier for me. I don't know how you see okay, it. Okay, I'm going to place it. I'm going to place it in front of uh, <laughs> Affliction because I, I know... Some people kind of got uh, upset with the changes, so some people were, were yeah, okay with it. Losing double uh, tap is yeah, weird. Double tap uh, was kind of like a uh, big, big no no. But again, uh, it's very subjective. It's still fun to play as Affliction. It's just some other specs for us have the priority in uh, playing them. For sure. For we'll sure. get to them uh, as well. Now, uh, Devastation Evoker. Devastation Evoker. I mean, um, this is one fun spec to play. Uh, be, it's not that complicated. Like um, it's kind of like BM. So r last time we had it in this year, because I was really on a, a Devastation kick, since I'm, I'm in Preservation, I usually do my keys with Devastation because it's a little bit more fun. But the more you play it, it kind of like loses a little bit of its charm. It gets because boring, yes? It's, it's, it gets yes? stale. It's, yes, it it's it gets stale. boring. It's, you're, I see. You're kind of doing the same thing over and over again, which I guess it's fine. But what probably really sucks when you're playing Devastation is that you're really squishy. You are yeah, that, so that tends to, to, to kill the farm, regardless and, of what yeah, card you Yeah, with a short range, that really doesn't match up. Well, like, some of the worst times I've had with Devastation was on Shadow Moon Burial Grounds with the last boss, where um, if, oh, I'm, if I'm the only range, I have to, like, time the... Dude. I have to bait the, the, the Star's yeah. Daggers thing, and also be in range of the boss, and then the wall spawns, and I have to bait it, and I'm it's too far bitch. from the wall. Like, no other spec has to go through this, and if you did do have to go through this, I kind of hope there was an upside. But the fact that you're so squishy, it kind of puts a lot of focus into surviving and doing the mechanics than actually exploding stuff, 
with a lot of like dragony breath things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it kind of dipped a little bit for me. Yeah. Uh, okay. That that's one side of the argument. On the other hand, like if you're gonna look at how uh, you can perform or have fun and win raids, you still are super mobile. You can like make a lot of the mechanics but then the sure. way it's super trivial and stuff and that adds to the fun aspect as well not to mention the fact that yeah it deals a ton of AOE damage man I mean, it's ridiculous <laughs> it, damage it's, it's yeah. let's say uh, as a lot of from burst and if if you have all the cooldowns and PI you're gonna love it so for me it's yeah, eight tier. Eight tier, yeah I would definitely it's a little bit of front of demo though yeah yeah let's, let's, next, let's next put BM. it here let's put it to, to uh, the, the BM because they're very similar in uh, sure. the co couple of regards now, elemental shamans. Shamans. Um, traditionally, shamans. elemental shamans in all of our fontillas were pretty, pretty high up their rank because uh, one, their their rotations were always kind of amazing. Their 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 theme was kind of always amazing, and they were looking even at performance, pretty decent and consistent overall. Um, maybe it fell a little bit now because we have other specs that are taking they did. the cake. Um, they did, and we've seen a lot of buffs across the board, and still no buffs for elemental, and that kind of put it even further behind in terms buffs. of in terms of Man. the overall damage. It's consistent. It's probably one of the worst DPS specs in the game. One is not not the, and although that, that's not necessarily important because we do have specs like fire mage that are not kings at DPS, but they're still rocking in terms of gameplay. That puts Elemental a little bit too far behind everybody else, and that's a little bit of a, yeah, of a, yeah. of a bummer. I guess um, we can now a give it a downgrade, a B tier, but I would still put it in front of Affliction. Sure, so sure. It, it, it still retains a, a high place in our hearts, at least. And uh, the spec that uh, Flame <laughs> has been like um, playing in and out left oh and my right. God. Shadow Priest, dude, this Shadow has... Priest was always fun. Come on. It was, the... no, okay, listen. I've played it a lot and I've tried to make it so much work in Shadowlands. It was so annoying. It was not as fun. It's, uh, I think a lot of the people and a lot of Shadow Priests might agree that Shadowland was the worst iteration of Shadow ever. Which is very weird because Shadowland starts with Shadow. Yeah, you think it's, uh, you know, Priestlands, <laughs> it's fine. But what they did with Dragonfly was already cool when we tested out in beta and when we played it was fun. But now with the changes and the uh, and the upgrades, especially to Psychic Link, oh, this in my in my opinion has become the most fun DPS spec in the game right now. And we talked about our game before. It is probably, if not the most complicated, it's really there with Arcane at the very, very least. Very complex, yes. But. It's really fun. Like when you actually do, you you can offset some of the. It, it's you still have to hard cast a lot, and you, if interrupted, it sucks. But it doesn't feel like it's that punished as okay. It doesn't feel like it's the end of the world well, if yeah, you have to stop. Because you stuff. still have a lot of dots taken in all over the place. You, you still do? have you, you know do? your things from beyonds and all of those, <laughs> all, all of those <laughs> crazy doing your bidding. So. Yeah, let's uh, let's uh, all agree here and have this bad boy. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, chicken. You're not sorry, uh, I'm man. Sorry. That's fine because Shadow <laughs> I'm is sorry, chicken. a much Let me better put you in for the... sure, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. So this is basically it, right? Like a super subjective. What we think it's fun. How we tested all the these specs and played it yeah. through in and throughout. Um, we're very curious on what you think. And again. Uh, this is why we do these videos. We kind of like try to make an argument on why we think something is fun and why we think something is not fun. Yeah. Um, like if you're gonna say, but for me it's not fun, that doesn't mean anything. Like it would be nice, like if you live in the comments, listen, this is why I believe this fun is fun. No, just have a, a conversation. What's, what, what's your S tier and why is it S tier? That's yeah. always really cool to talk about. What's your S tier and why is it shadow? Because <laughs> <laughs> it starts with S. <laughs> all right, thank you, Patreons, for supporting the content. Shit As it. always, you. make possible all of this daily content that we Amazing. do on YouTube. If you want to join awesome. the team that way, just check the link in the description. There's access there to bloopers to pay Patreon monthly chats, to Patreon exclusive podcasts, to custom wallpapers. Just look it up, man. It's it's, it's great. Not required, but do have a look. Okay? We appreciate it. It does help us out a lot. And we will love you for it. Yeah, and see something for the end. Well, thank you for watching the video <laughs> so far. And uh, we will have more for you ready. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> I've been loving it then, I still love it now. Still, I play wow. Still, I play wow. Getting better every day, let me show you how. Cause still, I play wow. Still, I play wow. It's getting harder to stay, but at the end of the day, it's a guilty pleasure, so just log in and play. Whether it's classical retail, I'ma do a slash bow. Still, I play wow.